you have a car payment with an interest rate of 0.9%, less than 1%, doesn't make any sense to pay off the car to free up cash flow with a credit card debt weapon if the interest rate is that low. Jeremy, I would not pay off a car with a credit card because it's going to cost you 3%, okay, right off the top of whatever the total, maybe your car is, maybe you owe 20000 on the car, 15000 I don't know if I want to pay 3% on 20000 off the bat. Number two is I don't know how effective that credit card is for us to do velocity banking with. You may not be able to pay all your bills with that credit card, so it might delay us, okay? And if that credit card did not have a 0% promotion for 12 to 8 months, and that's again, it's gonna hinder us. So now you've you literally shifted that debt to a high interest credit card. Bad deal. Bad deal. Don't like it. I rather have that debt lingering and then us go get a personal line of credit or unsecured HELOC or unsecured line of credit and either chunk at something else that's costing you a lot of money or Pay off the car with a line of credit. And then, you know, maybe that might not even be that good because, again, the 0.9%, you know. But, but we are freeing up some cash flow. If my cash flow is only going to go up $100, $200, I may not be so quick to make the move. I might say, hey, listen, if that's your only debt, hmm, maybe we could start saving some money. Maybe we could start, you know, building some wealth, right? And and kind of let that die out on its own. If it's an expensive car, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar car, and it's a six, seven hundred dollar monthly payment, hell yes, we are going to tackle that. I don't care what the interest rate is. Okay. We're gonna do velocity banking on that. But I would not do it with a credit card. 